researchers have created the most hard-wearing material on Earth. The alloy becomes even stronger at extreme cold. Most people are familiar with the metals chrome, cobalt, and nickel. Researchers have found that an alloy consisting of these three metals forms the most hard-wearing material on Earth, see our Kony. Not only is the alloy impressively strong, it is also exceptionally ductile, meaning it is very easy to shape. CR Kony belongs to what is known in chemistry as high entropy alloys. These are alloys in which the amount of constituent elements is almost the same. These materials are known for their hard wearing properties, but it has been difficult to test them under extreme conditions. Researchers at the Berkeley Laboratory in California and the Oak Ridge Laboratory in Tennessee have now managed to do this and have identified crossing Kony. The results have been published in the journal Science, and this is truly amazing. The colder it gets, the stronger it becomes. What really surprised the researchers was that the alloy became more hard-wearing as it got colder. Most materials become more brittle at low temperatures. They began experimenting with crossing Kony and another alloy that also contained manganese and iron, crossing MN Fe Kony, and over the following decade they thoroughly examined the two alloys. After some initial tests, the new alloys were immersed in liquid nitrogen at around minus 196 degrees Celsius, and the researchers discovered that the materials exhibited extreme hard-wearing properties. Soon after, the material was stress-tested by exposing it to liquid helium at minus 253 degrees Celsius, and the material still showed impressive strength, particularly crossing Kony. At these extreme temperatures, crossing Kony was able to withstand a pressure of 500 megapascals. For comparison, the aluminum frame of a passenger plane can withstand around 35 megapascals, and some of the strongest metals can withstand 100. Under advanced electron microscopy, the researchers discovered something they called a magic sequence that first made crossing Kony malleable and then gave it strength. Initially, the structure was very simple and grainy, but when subjected to stress, it became more complex and resistant. The material will now undergo a series of further tests, so it will be a few years before it is on the market, not least because it is expensive to produce. It is hoped that the material can be used in extreme environments, such as outside the atmosphere. Good news for outer space travels. It is extremely cold in space. The temperature in the vacuum of space can range from around minus 270 degrees Celsius minus 454 degrees Fahrenheit to around 270 degrees Celsius 518 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the location and time of year. At these extreme temperatures, most materials become brittle and prone to breaking or cracking. One of the coldest places in the universe is the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the remnants of the Big Bang that created the universe. This radiation has a temperature of around minus 270 degrees Celsius, minus 454 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just a few degrees above absolute zero. Despite the extreme cold, there are still objects and materials in space that can withstand these temperatures and function properly. For example, spacecraft are designed with materials and insulation to protect against the cold and heat of space. In order to survive in space, astronauts must also wear specialized suits that protect them from the harsh conditions. These suits have layers of insulation to keep the astronauts warm, as well as systems to regulate their temperature and provide oxygen. Despite these precautions, space travel can still be a dangerous and challenging endeavor, with extreme cold and other hazards posing a constant threat to the safety of astronauts. Elon Musk is excited. Elon Musk was excited about the news of the development of the most hard-wearing material on Earth. He had heard about the research being conducted by the Berkeley Laboratory in California and the Oak Ridge Laboratory in Tennessee and had been eagerly awaiting the results. As soon as the news was released, Elon rushed to read the article in the journal Science that described the properties of the crossing Kony alloy. He was amazed by its strength and ductility, especially its ability to become even stronger at extreme cold temperatures. Elon immediately saw the potential applications for this new material in the aerospace industry. He knew that space travel often involves extreme cold temperatures, and he believed that the crossing Kony alloy could be used to make spacecraft and other space equipment more durable and reliable. Excited by the possibilities, Elon contacted the researchers to learn more about the material and how it could be used in his company's products. He was eager to work with them to find ways to incorporate the crossing Kony alloy into his designs and bring it to market as soon as possible. As the news of the crossing Kony alloy spread, Elon's excitement only grew, 
as he saw the potential for this material to revolutionize the way we think about space travel and the materials we use to explore the universe. What is your opinion on this? Do you think that this could be the way for us to explore beyond our own solar system? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching the Almost Reality YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe for more interesting stories.